You've been up at 4 a.m. to ride every weekend for months. You've sweated buckets, got some scars, and now it's nearly time to put all that training into practice. There's just one week left to go before the 94.7 Momentum Cycle Challenge, so now you need to consolidate your training and decide on your race day preparations. For me, a newcomer to the sport doing possibly your first Momentum 94.7, the pacing strategy is start conservatively and save energy for later on. There's two reasons for this. One is that as you get tighter, you're going to lose more time at, towards the end. And secondly, at the Momentum 94.7, there's some nasty hills at the end. And you need to make sure that you've got a little bit of uh, petrol in the tank for those last few hills. Try and aim to get to the race at least one hour before your starting time. And that means you've got to take into consideration that at the Momentum 94.7, you might have a two or three kilometer ride to get there, which is a fantastic warm up, but it takes a bit of time. The classic training model says, if you're peaking for an event the final week, you ride shorter rides. So if you've been doing an hour in the morning, maybe you only want to do half an hour, but you do it a little bit faster, at a little higher intensity than you used to. The other thing is with your nutrition is stick to what's tried and tested. In the final week, don't change anything. It's a long race, so start your day right and make sure you stay hydrated with fluids and fueled with high energy snacks throughout the race. The best way to stay hydrated is to drink small amounts often. If you ever get to that point where you are really thirsty, it's too late and you're going to be in trouble. So start sipping. Even after 10 Ks, you might not feel like you need anything, but start sipping early. Well, water is better than nothing, but certainly a good sports drink is better than water. The best snacks to have on the event are one of the established uh, nutritional brands, and there are many great brands out there. However, some people prefer things like fruit. Of course, often real foods give you better nutrients than uh, some highly processed bar. Um, fruits, some people like fruitcake. So try and find something that works for you and stick to it. Training alone is very different from riding with 30,000 other cyclists. So remember to ride safe, pace your own race, and listen to your body as you go. For me, the most important thing to prepare yourself mentally for the race is to break it down into bite-sized chunks. I'm really bad at riding possibly 94.7 Ks, but you know what, I'm really good over 10 Ks, and I can do nine 10 K bits, and the last four Ks is downhill, so I can almost freewheel in. And I just tick those off each time I've done my next 10 Ks, and uh, if I know it's only 10 Ks to my next marker, that's a very doable, and your brain is wired in the way that we're really good with small achievable goals, but we can be really put off by a big mountain. So don't think of it as 94.7 kilometers, rather break it down. Prior to the event, you want to make sure that your bike is in perfect working condition. The most important part of that is to make sure that your brakes are working and that your brake blocks are not worn out. Of course, you need to make sure that your gears are in perfect working condition, and if they're not, they might need a little bit of adjustment. You need oil on your chain, and then of course you must make sure that your tires are in great condition. You don't want to do all this training, buy all the nutrition, get everything ready, and then have a puncture on the big day. So check that your tire, specifically the back one, is not threadbare. Bike setup is extremely important, and the most important aspect of that is saddle height. If your saddle height is incorrect, you'll be absolutely inefficient. You might end up cramping, and you certainly won't be able to use all the power and fitness that you've developed to get around the course. So to set your saddle height, pedal backwards, stop right at the lowest point, straighten your knee, and your foot should be absolutely parallel to the ground. Then you know that you're sitting in the right height. It's uh, the second largest timed event in the world, so it really is a special event. Um, you don't often get a chance to ride through the streets of Johannesburg, closed down, and uh, it really is a special day. The race is just one part of it. There's the whole build-up to the event, there's the post-race hospitality. So uh, it's about family, it's about a, a day in Joburg, and of course uh, on a bicycle, which uh, you can't get better than that. Top professional will do just over two hours at the Momentum 94.7 Cycle Challenge, and the back markers can take the entire day. 
I think at the end of the day though, as long as you enjoy your experience and uh, if you finish the event and you're looking forward to next year's event, then you've done a great job.